Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Jet Bike SG. So in today's video, I'm going to show you this bike is a full titanium trifold bike with 20 inch wheel set. Okay. So another thing special about this bike is that this 20 inch wheel set is actually a 20 times 1.75 wheel set. So you can see that actually the tire is actually very fat. Okay. So I think the good thing about this bike is that in a way it is like a foldable mountain bike. Okay and it is very lightweight or i would say it's fairly lightweight it's because it's full titanium okay so why i say it's fully lightweight is fairly lightweight is because it's about 10 kilo okay so when you say lightweight right it's only 8 kilo but why this is 10 kilo is because 20 inch because of the bigger tire because of the disc brake because of the 11 speed and because of a lot of things like the ergon gp uh grip okay so when you when later I bring in the camera, you'll see that this bike is not about weight saving, but rather quality of the parts. Okay, so that's why it's about 10 kilo rather than the 8 kilo, uh, 16 inch, 7 speed, the kind. Okay, so you can see at 10 kilo, it's actually not very heavy also. Okay, and the parts used is very premium. So later I'll bring the camera in. Okay, another thing maybe you want to see for now is that this bike is actually quite tall. Okay. Unshot, but the bike is also tall. Okay, I'm about 1.68, 1.67. So the buyer of this bike is actually quite tall. So we did a H stem. On top of that, we did an M bar. So the riding position is actually very, very tall. I'll say it's very comfortable. Okay, so if you are someone who is tall, you're looking for a big bike, this is something that you can look at. Okay. Um okay, let's bring the camera in to show you the details of the bike. Okay, let's begin by showing you the details of the bike. And I did say in the video just now that this bike is not about weight saving, but rather quality of the parts. Okay, so first start with the frame. Okay, the frame we have the matte titanium handlebar, M bar. We have the H10, so it's higher. Then we have the matte frame, titanium frame. Then we have the matte black. Uh, front fork we have the matte black rear triangle and this rear triangle by the way is full titanium also and uh, it is p-line okay so what do i mean by p-line style derailleur is that okay you can see here is the square suspension rather than the round suspension Okay, let's show you the parts that we use on this bike also. Okay, the, the later I will show you the brake lever because it's now not very easy to show. But we can see from here, right, this is the titanium headset by Union Jet. The Union Jet Special. And here is TI, okay, titanium for Bronton. Okay, then we have this Vidia front block. Okay. We have this Bronton cat eye. Okay. Then this is actually a pedal holder. Okay, for this Union Jet Titanium pedal. So you take out, you put it here. Okay. It's the left side take out. So the front wheel is using this silver rock. Okay, five spoke carbon. Five spoke uh, is actually heavier than three spoke, which is also heavier than the Multi spoke, but why five spoke was chosen is because this five spoke right actually give you more better stability also, and four oh six tire of uh, ring give you uh, more options in terms of the tire choice. That's why this one can do twenty times one point seven five. Okay, Brompton is I think twenty times two point one. Okay, so one point seven five is actually very big. Then crank set already upgrade to this uh, roto crank set. Okay, carbon one. The ring, chain ring also roto, made in Spain also. Okay, so you can see everything very high quality. So uh this video I also want to show that if you want to build bikes with better parts, I can do it also. Okay, so this one is using this 105 uh derailleur. Then we have this uh cassette is also the one r7000 cassette 
Okay, so I think I should uh, flip the bike over soon. Extender, yeah. Okay, this one is using the MUQZI extender. Why? It's because a normal extender cannot bolt in this P-line one. Huh? The Radia and the Light Pro one cannot. So this one is the Radia uh, suspension block. I think with the titanium SL also. So I'm going to flip the bike over to show you the other parts also. Maybe I just show you the saddle which is 3D printed. Okay, let's flip the bike over. Okay, so when I flip the bike over, you can see the parts from this side also. Okay, first you can see that this is using the Gintec brake lever. Okay, of course I have other brake levers such as Paul Canty, which is also very good, but this time round, this customer uses Gintec. Why then? It's because, oh, this is the bell, very nice also. Okay, uh, it's because this customer uses this brake, so he wants the GT6. So I was thinking, yeah. Uh, the brake levers should use Gintec, so it's kind of as a PEM. So my those C brake one, I actually recommend Union Jet C brake and Paul Canty. Okay, why I don't use Union Jet brake lever is because I feel Paul Canty is actually more solid. Personally, I feel like this is personal opinion. Okay, so this is the Gintec uh disc brake. Then we have the Gintec. Uh, we call it the actuated hydraulic. I call it mechanical hydraulic. So you can see this is mechanical. So the hydraulic is inside here. GT6 stands for six piston. Yeah, I think so. So silver rock uh, carbon ring I mentioned just now. So this uh, tire 20 times 1.75 again. Then this fronten the front block, front lamp. Then we have this union jet, uh, this chip. Uh, Pedal holder, okay, then Vidia carbon cable fender. We have the Vidia this uh, inch clamp, okay. This inch clamp also very good, like my titanium one. So when you turn, 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 right, until oh, this one can turn over, okay. I think can can set the limiter later. I'll go and set first here, can set one. So I think I'll go and set the limiter later. Then we have this Vidya with titanium, okay, the Sipos clan. Then we have this Vidya Easy Wheel. Then we have this Roto Crankset, okay. And this Roto Crankset, by the way, is using this Ceramic BB, okay. So you can see this is red in color. Okay, behind is using this Gintec F1S. Why? Is because this one is the, the brake design is a little bit different, so you can't use GT6 here. Okay, so yeah, then I think that's about it. So you can see that this whole bike, right? In short, this whole bike is full titanium frame, the handlebar, the stem, the fork, the frame, the rear triangle, the seat post. Actually, you got rear red. Okay, the haven't built, haven't installed yet. And I'm also going to install a mud guard, the two stick one. That one looks nicer. Okay, so full titanium, all the small parts. Radia, the brake system, Gintec, the wheel set carbon, the tire 20 times 1.75, and the drive train is Shimano 105 with roto chainring. Okay, and you can see the roto chainring is very small for the 60. So this bike not built for speed, built for slow, uh, right in the park or some a little bit of off road, off road or trail because of the tire. Okay. Uh, this is not built for speed. Okay, so if you want a casual ride, uh, I think this is a good bike. And of course, you want those fast one. I also can build with bigger chain ring. Then you probably will go for thinner tire and lighter wheel set. Okay, so all this can be done. I think I sh should end the video here. And thank you for watching my video. Have a good day. Uh, bye bye.